As we start combining many lines of code into scripts or functions, there are more opportunities to introduce mistakes. Sometimes our code will result in an error message, or it may produce an output that is different than we expect. Such errors are often called bugs. We can locate mistakes and fix errors using the debugger in MATLAB. Let's see how using this example. The code is meant to calculate the total account balance and interest earned on a vector of deposits and interest rates for each year. However, when we run the code, we receive an error message. There was a problem in line 7 of the code related to multiplication. Finding errors is often easier by pausing the code near the error location. We do this using a breakpoint. With the code file open in the MATLAB editor, let's create a breakpoint by left-clicking on line 7. A red circle is displayed on the line number, indicating that when the code is run, its execution will pause at that location. Let's try this by running the file. The command prompt changes, indicating that we are now in debug mode, and new buttons are available in the MATLAB editor. We also see the current values of variables in the workspace. Notice that the loop variable is 1, and interest is 0. Thus the code was stopped before line 7 was executed. We have two options for continuing code execution. We can use the Continue button, which will execute code until another breakpoint is reached, an error occurs, or all the code is executed. Or we can use the Step button to execute a single line of code. Since we don't know where the error is, let's use the Step button to execute line 7 and advance the code one line. The variable interest is updated, and we see it is a vector of six elements. Looks like we might have found our error since interest is supposed to be a scalar value. In debug mode, we can type commands to test possible corrections. Here, what we meant to do was use the loop variable i to select a value from the vector rates. Since we found the error, let's press the quit debugging button and update the code file. Notice the breakpoint was not deleted. We remove it by left clicking it. Now let's run the code, and, oops, another error? Do you see where the error is? If not, try using the debug tools to find and fix the mistake. Set a breakpoint and step or continue through the code until you find the error.